Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Joshua RC1, bringing you guys Tips for Tools, Episode 2. Today we'll be covering the marquee tools. To start off, it is the second tool down from your toolbar. The shortcut for this tool is M, for it's short for marquee. We'll be covering the rectangular, elliptical, single row, and single column marquee tools in this tutorial. Start off to get a. S We're going to be starting off with the rectangular marquee tool. You're going to hold left your left um, mouse and drag out. You'll see you get uh, marching ants in a rectangular formation. It's used to create rectangles, squares. If you want a perfect square, you can hold shift and then drag out. You'll get a perfect square if I show right here. If I copy and hide the bottom there, I have a perfect square right here of Walt's head. If I don't want that, I'll just delete it. If you want to add selection paths together, shift, then shift again and you keep holding them and it'll create different selection paths you'll see I have my different um, different selections right here they were all to, uh, added together by holding the shift while creating paths if I want to deselect from the layers I'm going to hold I'm gonna actually control and click on the image layer for my layer one I'm gonna go back to my marquee tool I'm going to hold alt for uh, deselecting selection paths. Show an example here. I'll go back to my background layer. Delete this. Layer 1, which doesn't want to delete. And then I will control J my background layer. And you'll see now that I have holes within my selection paths where I was before, where I held Alt. Um, another quick tool is if you want to only if you want to invert your selection path, you're going to hold Control Shift I, and then if I Control J again, you'll see where I had my selection path is empty. Next is the ellipse or elliptical marquee tool. It's used for creating ovals, circles, whatever. Again, self-explanatory. If you hold Shift, you'll get a perfect circle. If you hold Shift and then Shift again while in your selection paths, you'll create multiples. If you hold Alt and go in, it'll create. Um, subtractions from your selection paths. If you want to um, control the invert, control shift I and again you'll get the invert of what you selected. Next is going to be the single row marquee tool. It's used for selecting um, certain pixel lengths. You hold shift and I'm just going to go down the document. Control J. I'm going to zoom in after I hide the bottom layer. You'll see they're all single pixel lengths, full document for rows. It's uh, it's helpful if you want to create single pixel lines and then same thing goes for the single column marquee tool. Just creates vertical lines of single pixel selection. So again if I control J and hide the bottom layer, you'll see I have single row columns. Um, lastly, I'm going to cover that you can use all of these in unison together. So let's say I just create a rectangle and then uh, hold shift, ellipse, add a few ellipses in there, and then single row. And then if I go to single column, they all work together. And if I control J and hide the bottom layer, you can see all the different selection paths work together. I have my rectangle in the middle my oval or ellipse um, selections on the sides, then the single row and the single column down here. So this has been selection paths for tips for tools. You are covering the marquee tool. Thank you for watching. Next episode will be on the lasso tool selections. Thank you and be sure to leave this uh, video a like and comment if you enjoyed it if it helped you out be sure to check out my other videos thank you again